Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! After months of recriminations and mutual name-calling, the US Republican Party appears to be trying to pull itself together for a presidential campaign fronted by Donald Trump. With the nomination secured, Mr Trump held talks in Washington today with one of his sternest party critics, the House Speaker Paul Ryan. But can they paper over the cracks in the party? Here's our Washington correspondent, Kylie Morris. There he is, there he is, there he is. The man most likely to be the Republican nominee entered the lion's den with a wave. He chose the back entrance for this first meeting with senior party officials. At the front, too many reminders of how divisive his campaign has been. This is the way we do things in the United States now. From the guy with the paper mache head and the sack of money. Stop the hate. It's not mine. To the immigrants, Trump labeled murderers and rapists. In the inner sanctum of American power, along the corridors of Capitol Hill, Republicans are grappling with their new normal. Apologize. Can we walk would with you, you and you just ask giving, you briefly about Donald Trump? Uh, would you mind giving my office a phone call? Uh, sure, I'd be happy Thank to you. do that. Colorado Senator Cory Gardner was in too much of a hurry to repeat his assertions that Donald Trump can't win. North Carolina's Tom Tillis had jumped on board the Trump train. I think it'll go fine. Right now we're in a transition period. I think by the time we get to the convention, we'll be in good shape. But South Carolina's Lindsey Graham was resisting the urge to fall in line. So, um, Donald Trump says he's coming to Washington this week to try and build bridges, unify the party. Is that a possible That's mission? That's a great, great idea. I don't know how simple it would be, but it's a good idea. Is it achievable, sir? Uh, uh, it's up to him. <laughs> As for the Democrats, it's fair to say they're enjoying this. Winston Churchill used to say that the American people uh, always do the right thing after exhausting every other alternative. Uh, and I think that's what... So this Don is the exhausting phase? I think that Donald Trump is exhausting. Uh, but at the end of the day, the American people are going to elect Hillary Clinton as the president. It is that threat of another Democratic presidency that will likely force most Republican politicians to grit their teeth and back Trump. At this point, uh, I'm just not there right now. Although Paul Ryan, the party's highest elected official, is, as you can see, taking his time, leveraging these moments to mould Trump and give cover to those not ready to support him. So Donald Trump now is leaving this meeting. Already the word is that it's been fairly positive. But the truth is, like him or loathe him, the Republican Party no. leadership needs him. He is the only person who can deliver them the White House. This is our first meeting. I was very encouraged with this meeting. Um, but this is a process. It takes a little time. You don't put it together in 45 minutes. So no endorsement yet for Donald Trump, but the time for reckoning is nearly up. The party's future locked fast now with the fate of the nominee they never saw coming. Kylie Morris, Channel 4 News, Washington.